First step is to download and install Reshade. You'll need to open your browser and in the address tab, you need to go to www.reshade.me. Once Reshade website comes, you need to press download and it will scroll to the download section. You don't need to download the first one which says download Reshade. You need to download Reshade with full add-on support. A pop-up will appear telling you this build of Reshade is intended for single player games only and may cause bans in multiplayer games. You need to press OK and your download will start right away. Now you need to open the Reshade setup that you just downloaded and the pop-up will appear once again reminding that it's supposed to be used with single player games only and would cause bans if you use it in multiplayer games. Press OK. In this window, you need to select GTA5.exe and make sure it's the main copy that you use to play your GTA story mode. You can confirm its location in the box down below. After selecting GTA5.exe, press next. Select DirectX 10, 11, 12 option and press next again. In this window, you need to press uncheck all and then check all to select all the effects to be installed. Press next and it will start downloading all the reshade effects. Once completed, this add-ons window will come up where you can select if you want to use any specific add-ons. Usually you won't need them so I am not selecting anything here. Press next and your reshade is now installed successfully. Next step is to go to your GTA main directory. I have my GTA 5 on Steam so I'll go from here. Once you come to your GTA main directory, you need to look for a file which says txgi.dll. Rename this file and set the name to d3d12.dll. Once done, launch your game from the launcher you have it in. It can be Steam, Epic or Rockstar launcher. And here we go. Your reshade works absolutely fine and you can easily bring up the reshade menu by pressing the home key on your keyboard. If you don't have a home key on your keyboard, you can bring Windows on screen keyboard and press home from it once and then come to reshade settings tab and change your keybind from there. As you can see, uh, I am changing the vibrance settings in the reshade menu and you can see this is with the vibrance on and off. You can see the difference yourself. There's a big difference when you turn off the vibrance and then turn it on. So this is turned off, this is turned on. You see I'm toggling uh, the vibrance on and off. Also I would like to open up the reshade menu once again and then show you what it looks like to have the HDR turned on in reshade. You see this is with the reshade HDR on and I will actually toggle it off so you can see. You see the difference? This is on and you see the after and before See it again yourself. There's a huge difference. Please have a look at ADOF as well. This uh, filter has great uh, depth of field effect and it adds a lot of uh, realism to your game. So you would be able to experience pure depth of field within your GDA 5 with the reshade. And you see this is how it looks like. When I turn off my reshade, I have set my reshade toggle key to shift plus F9. You can set your reshade toggle key to any key you want, any combination you want. You can turn on or off any individual effects like HDR, blooming, vibrance to get the look according to your taste. You can also play with the values in each of the effects to fine tune your graphics. I've also made quick and easy tutorials on how to install and fix the latest version of reshade for 5M. If you still have any questions and queries, comment down below or join my Discord and ping me in the support channel and I would love to resolve your issue. If this video was helpful for you, I would request you to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and please don't miss to turn on the notifications so that you get notified next time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.